Now, Brian also designed a lovely master ensuite for his client's condo. Take a look. Now we're going from the master bedroom into the master ensuite and the floor changes from wood to marble. We also layered an area carpet on the wood, but you'll notice that we contoured it the shape of the door, the angle of the door, because otherwise it would be this point that you trip on all the time. So that's an easy thing for an installer to do on site, but it really looks better and is more practical. When we come into the bathroom, we did white, a lot of white marble. So we did this traditional pattern. I love traditional floors, mosaics especially. This is an old octagon pattern and we trimmed it in a gray marble and then did larger white marble around the perimeter. We picked up that gray on the countertop and you can see the simple but traditional detail and the vanities are actually walnut. The white sink to tie in all the white marble and these nickel and crystal faucets. They're crystal but they have a contemporary feel to them. Now the women's vanity is a little longer and we did this makeup table area. Now the chair is covered in terry cloth, a really practical material for the bathroom because you can take that slip cover off and throw it in the washing machine. For the mirror, we used picture framing. It's actual picture framing from a framer. We gave them the dimension and they made this frame with the mirror and drilled the mirror for the sconces. On the opposite side of the bathroom is the man's vanity. Again, it looks like a chest and we did, you'll notice that the handles look like bamboo also that match the bamboo of the mirror. On the side is the medicine cabinet, and I love medicine cabinets at this height. We just covered it in the same wallpaper so it disappears. Now, instead of doing a solid wall here for the um, shower and the toilet compartment, I did glass, but I only frosted it to a certain height, and that gives an openness and a spaciousness. Now, we did, instead of handles, we did these towel bars, but one of the things I like for older people, or just from a design standpoint, I love it, is no curb. You just have to make sure the shower is angled down to the drain so the water rushes down, but it's easy to get in and out of. And also for the bathtub, making it more spacious and a little easier accessibility, we did a freestanding tub instead of the existing tub that was there in the big marble box. So it's much more open, spacious, and I find quite glamorous.